Hey, what's going on, guys? You know, Apple always talk about security and privacy of their operating systems. So a lot of people just assume that their privacy and security is all taken care of by Apple. I mean, well, it's not that simple. Remember, a lot of the apps require permission to access things on your device, like photos, location information, and so on. But you know, some apps may be abusing them after you gave them that permission. They may be spying on you if you're not careful. Well, you gave them the permission after all. Luckily, in iOS 15, Apple added a hidden feature that allows you to log the app's activities, so you know what's going on in the background. But this feature at this stage is still half baked, so a lot of people don't know about it. In this video, I'm going to show you how to turn this on and how to easily see the data because Apple hasn't made this easy just yet. Okay, so the first step is make sure your phone is already upgraded to iOS 15. If not, you won't be able to use this feature. First, you want to go to Settings, then you want to scroll down to Privacy. At the very bottom of the Privacy page, there's an item called Record App Activity. Click on that, you'll see a toggle to turn this on. Basically, this allows iOS to keep a log of what your apps. Have access in the past seven days, but note it only starts recording when you turn this on. So it'll probably take a couple hours before you can see something meaningful here. A few moments later. Once you've done that, come back to this page and click Save App Activity. So I'm just gonna save this to the top folder of my iCloud drive. Now, as I mentioned, Apple hasn't fully developed this feature, so all this saves. Is an ndjson file, which you need a text editor to open it. So it's going to be very difficult to read and understand what's going on. Luckily for everything, there's an app for it. So if we go to the App Store and search for this app called App Privacy Insights, and download it, it's free at the time of publishing. By the way, I have no association with the developer of this app, but it looks pretty decent and legit to me. And the author is pretty transparent about what it's doing, so I do have some trust in this app.、Uh, apparently, there's already a few copycats out there already on the App Store, some of which are not free. So just be careful which one you're downloading. So let's take a look. Once you've downloaded the app, go back to Files and long press the log file and click Share. On the Share sheet, click Import to App Privacy Insights. And click import. Okay. Once the log file is imported, the app will then present the details of the information that's being accessed per app. You can search for a particular app, and if you are not seeing the app names,、uh, just the bundle names, go to Settings tab and click the Run Analysis button. So let's take a look which app is spying on us behind our backs. Mostly, the social media apps are the worst offenders. There's a few big name apps that were recently exposed to have been sneakily reading your photos data in the middle of the night. One of them is WeChat. The developer Tencent has come out and said they're using the access to preload photos to support a feature that display a preview of your last saved photos, so it's easier to share. Well, whether you believe it or not,、uh, I suspect. Some other apps are doing similar things to improve the user experience, but it's really hard for us to tell what's really going on. So if you're really concerned about it, there are ways to restrict access for those apps.、Uh, some shopping apps have been found to constantly reading your photos or your location data. So do be careful and check what's going on. And if there are any apps that you don't actually use, but you've given them permission before. Turn them off or delete the app altogether. All I can say is be careful. Do not give permissions when it's not necessary. Turn it off when you just use it once to upload something or save something. You can also give access to a selection of photos if you don't use the app very often. So in the photos permission setting, there is a level of access where you can select a bunch of photos for the app to access specifically, but it is not very convenient to use. 
Let me know how you go. What are some of the shocking findings you have? I mean, most developers are probably less interested in your photos by itself. The photos may be used to uniquely identify you or they may be used for some sort of analysis. But you may be surprised what they can do and how far they will go to do that. So just be careful out there. That's it for this video. Until next time. Peace.